So today I'm going to be making a response video to Raw Bliss where he thinks he was eating 5,000 calories a day in this video. I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing because it's almost 40 minutes long, but I made a smaller edited version of this so it doesn't drag out too long. And I actually, in the other one that I made the other day, I said I think one of the reasons why he is under eating is because he doesn't have that much money. And as you can see here, he replies, says, hey, thank you. Again, fruit season just starting here. Still a bit expensive for me at the moment, but definitely will be in tons more in the coming months as the peak season comes. So it seems he needs to actually increase his income and then he probably stop wasting away because then he can eat sufficient calories and build up his body. And this is what he is currently looking like, which you will see in the video that I will play shortly where he thinks he's eating 5,000 calories in a day, but he's completely deluded. He has no idea what he's talking about and he's nowhere near 5,000 calories. And for anyone wondering that doesn't know what he used to look like, that's what he used to look like on the right. So he's got a lot of excess body fat, so then he's gone in this extreme restrictive diet and I ended up like Jack Skeleton. Rather than doing middle ground and losing the fat and building some muscle in a healthy way, he's on this extreme fruitarian diet, which is not good at all for him, because as you see, he is completely wasting away. So let's now watch the video together and I'll pause when I feel it's necessary. And what I actually did was use chronometer to accurately work out how many calories he it, which I will show you at the end, so you can see whether he was eating anywhere near 5,000 calories or not. All right, just arrived at Seven Mile Market, and I'm about to get a coconut. Coconut water is very, very low in calories. I would recommend that he doesn't consume any of these whatsoever. It's just a waste of stomach space. It makes you feel very full because there's a lot of liquid, and actually switch it out and actually choose something else that is more calorie dense. Wow, this is so sweet. It's massive coconuts for a dollar. So I'm gonna sit here and enjoy this. And what you'll notice throughout the video, he mentions how cheap and low price things are. So that was the first time, just one dollar. Let's see how many times he does this in the video. I'll get back to you guys. Look at all the durian. So much. Yeah, very nice one. So try. Switch on that. So at this point in the video, I was like, wow, yes, he's eating durian, which is one of the highest calorie fruits in the world. So maybe he is actually going to eat 5,000 calories because you could potentially do it with this fruit. But you need to have a large stomach capacity to do this. Oh, okay. Oh, this is so funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's very good. <laughs> Got a friend here. What's yes, your you name? Have. Mr. Boone. Mr. Boone? Yes. No, you're not Mr. Boone. Other my my son, Mr. Boone. Boone. Where where is he? My son, too. Hmm. This man is so funny. Not here today? But, uh, mm. You sell durian for many years. Yeah. He told me. Your your son. Yeah. And you can see just it's like a homeless person that can't afford to get enough food. And that is exactly what he's doing. It's like, come on, man, sort your finances out. You're in a country where you're getting some of the cheapest fruit in the world. And I even looked at your Instagram live feed this morning and asked you a question about durian. And I said about durian being around 30 baht a kilo during the season in Koh Phangan, which is around a dollar per kilo. And you said that that is a high price. Oh my God, that's so low. Like, Jesus Christ, it gave me even more an insight into how he is around his money situation. It's just not good. Wow, this one's so good. Thank you. And if you don't know, durian can go for like $50 for one durian when it's really high quality durian in certain places. So a dollar a kilo is nothing. If you don't know what a kilo is, it's 2.2 pounds. I'm very aware of the drinking of coconuts and durian. Durian makes you very hot and coconut cools you off. So he's eating, 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 and as you can see, they live in, they live in Syria. Come on, man, smashing those oh, calories. It's really rain. Oh. 
But yeah, even though it's high fat, high carb, it's still very low in protein and he needs a lot of protein to really build up his muscle mass and just overall improve his body composition and his health holistically as well because protein is not just for muscle growth, it's also key for optimal hormone production and neurotransmitter production as well for the mind and body to function as optimally holistically. Wow, very good. I didn't even have to ask, he just brought it over. Yeah, it's very nice. So for these two durians, less than four dollars again mentioning the price second time just four dollars and i'm definitely getting another maybe two maybe three more when i have been in countries i've spent up to around 150 dollars on doing and i don't even say that's high price it's completely worth it it's like come on man what you're eating is like dirt dirt cheap you don't need to keep mentioning the prices. You need to work on creating an abundant mindset, a rich mindset. Otherwise, you're gonna end up being like a poor person for the rest of your life. Who knows? Oh my God. This one's so creamy. Yeah, this is a very creamy fruit. A little more bittersweet. And I love durian as well. But I wouldn't just eat exclusively because it's not going to give you everything that you need. You very nice. <laughs> I don't like. It's, I think it's over, over ripe. Ah, she like over. Oh. She like over. Some people like over. Oh yeah. Much better. Yeah. Nice. Very, very good. Yeah. Thank you so much. So he's now at a point where he's at about a durian and a third of another a durian. Yeah. Good. Okay. I cannot finish. I got enough. Yeah. Yeah. Take it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Lovely lady. Oh. Okay, I need more. Yes, you do need more. A lot more. Thank you. Wow. Keep going. This. this is crazy. Wow. This is crazy. Huh? I'm just getting gifted durians. <laughs> Very nice. This is it had a squirrel hole bitten in it, and that's how you know it's good, because the squirrels and the bugs, they'll always go for the good stuff. So once he's eating this, he's about two durians in total. I'm just blissed out right now. I'm just in heaven. Okay. It's because you're getting that sugar rush that you spoke about in so many other videos. <laughs> you just opened this for me. Said it's very special. Look at how yellow this is. Like this is very different. Okay, I'm gonna try now. This one costs 20 ringgit. Oh my good. god, it's so creamy. Mentioning the low price again. Wow. Hey. Yellow ones are the wow. best. By far. It's almost like peanut butter, it's so thick. Oh, it's so intense, the flavor. Okay. I think that's it for today's video. So that is the end of the durian eating session. So he ate almost three durians and they weren't very big durians because durians can be absolutely huge. So yeah, it's like that definitely isn't 5,000 calories but he continues to eat some other foods later on. So let's see, can he rack it up to such a high amount of calories that he thinks that he actually ate? Probably like 5,000 calories. Or something. Probably like 5,000 calories or something. It's the perfect. Probably like 5,000 calories. I think that's it for today's video. Probably like 5,000 calories or something. So he said probably 5,000 calories or something. So he's not sure whatsoever yet. He put that in the title. 
and it's very misleading because it seems that that is not true whatsoever, as I will show you later in the video. It's the perfect texture. Coconut meat, which is very, very low in calories. A cup of coconut meat, if I remember correctly, is around 100 calories. He thinks it's way more, as you will see in a comment that he made on this video to someone that said, you're eating nowhere near as much as you thought you was in this What Are You In A Day video. Got some dragon fruit here. I got all three Whoa. for 10 ringgit, which is $2.50. It's very rare to actually see him show his body this much, and I can understand why. Look at his hip! Oh my god, it's absolutely popping and bulging out. His ribs are clearly showing like crazy. There's pretty much no muscle mass and no fat whatsoever. When you, you are in this type of state with your physique, guess what it's doing when you're not eating enough? It starts to eat up all of your organs. No wonder why your mind isn't functioning so well. No wonder why you're just doing this crazy stuff. It's like, come on, man. You need to eat sufficient amount of calories and probably from other different food sources. Unlike fruits, you have a more balanced diet and eat meat and other things that can actually eat and nourish you so you stop deteriorating and start building up the body instead of continually breaking it down with this extreme diet and fasting. And these are just beautiful. It's brain food, it really is. <laughs> he was talking about lime juice. They didn't put that part in, but he says lime juice it's the ultimate brain food. It's like, man, you need an abundance of essential fatty acids and other nutrients that you're lacking on this diet to actually give your brain the best food possible, which you've been lacking for so long because you've been on this fruitarian diet over three years. Yesterday I met up with Fit Shorty Eats. Another extreme fruitarian that has a child that has been fruitarian since birth as well, and they've been doing the fruitarian diet for over three years. And if you haven't seen them, I'm gonna give you a quick look this is them, they're very well known. I've actually met Tina, which is the female you see up there. And as you can see, they're obsessed with the fruit-based lifestyle and diet as well. And she was fruitarian during her whole pregnancy, which I do not believe that is good for her whatsoever or her baby. As you can see, she's pregnant there. And yeah, pregnant there. A lot of people went crazy about this when she announced it on her YouTube channel. And if you look at the male's physique, which is her boyfriend, like he looks like an older male. He's not that old at all, but you look at that excess body fat and he's like got hardly any muscle mass. He just hasn't got a healthy physique whatsoever. So not a very good person to be following. This is what you find. These are the type of people that Austin is following, are very extreme as well with the way that they eat and just other lifestyle practices as well. So let's continue watching this video. Christina and Simon and their baby, Leo. And he lives on coconut water and durian pretty much. <sighs> this is absolutely craziness. Like children, especially in developing years, need so much and an abundance of essential fatty acids and nutrients that can be lacking in this fruit diet. It's just amazing get out in the sun charge the pineal gland for fruits yeah he thinks he's amazing and now he's talking about charging the pineal gland for that too they took <laughs> and the fruits will do that as well it's like oh come on man like i think your pineal gland is probably completely or almost wasted away due to this malnourishing extreme diet they've been eating for so long to a hot spring in the jungle it only costs four dollars it only costs four dollars so that's again saying about how low the price is like come on man be conscious of what you are saying you're working with the law of attraction if people don't know about it, it's a real law of attraction you cannot avoid it what you think about and what you talk about what you listen to and that will start to create your own reality and he's creating his poverty reality you need to go and get a job and actually earn some money like myself and other people that work their ass off Rather than him, he just worked a job for years and years and years in a crappy job, I can't remember what it was, but some sort of store clerk or something. And then he's just doing traveling around Asia, spending as little money as possible, going to the cheapest countries possible, and living pretty much like the locals that have hardly any money as well. It's like, come on man, you're a Westerner, there's so many ways that you can actually heart, like, actually earn a very high, decent income. You don't need to become like the local people. It's like, come on, sort it out, make it a priority, man. And then we came back to Kuching and just feasted on durian. We probably each ate like five durians. It was a lot of durian. 
mm, there isn't actually that much. I normally eat at like around seven or eight durians in a day when I was eating a fruit-based diet. So again, the people that he's eating with seem to be under eating alongside him. Supposedly like a one kilo durian is 1500 calories. <laughs> that would have to be like the biggest durian possible, which he's not eating these ones that are cultivated to maximize the size of them whatsoever. Like where is he coming from? Durian has a very large shell, which weighs a lot, and very large seeds. Once you take that away and weigh the flesh, it's actually not that high in weight whatsoever. So that is completely delusional. Whoever he's told him that is lying to him. And like, oh man, listen to some sources which actually know what they're talking about. It's a lot of calories packing. Gotta get those gains. Yeah, you need to get those gains. You need to switch up your diet and start eating way more calorie dense foods and eat all day long. Like someone that's been in a starvation camp that then has access to an abundance of food. Mm. This one's even better. He's just addicted to naturally occurring sugar and he's just eating it because of that. It's like being a complete sugar addict. It's like, come on, man. Yes, it does taste good, but it's obviously not working it for you. Just look in the mirror. Stop having this dogmatic view that this diet is designed for us because of fruit rules by design, which I've debunked in other videos. It's like, come on, boy. Wake up. Stop messing around and destroying your body in the process. <laughs> I'll get back to you guys. So that's the end of the video. So now let's go on to see how much he roughly ate. So first off, I wanna show you, I did this 10,000 calorie challenge quite some time ago. This is a whole plate of durian that I took from about 10 different durians. And what he ate was probably about half the amount of that. And guess how much this whole plate weighs? Around 2,000 calories. So that is around 1,000 calories in total. So if we go to chronometer, I worked out roughly how many calories he roughly ate. So I put in the dragon fruit, and the young Thai coconut meat, which was one cup. I put in the durian, which as you can see, is around a thousand calories, the young Thai coconut water. And how many calories did it come to? Oh, 1,805. So you said you're eating 5,000 plus. It's actually, that's not true at all. You're delusional, just as with many of your other things that you preach to people and that you think and you believe. You're actually eating way, way less than what you thought. You needed to eat about an extra three and a half thousand calories to meet that. So it's like, oh man, don't say you're eating a certain amount if you really don't know what you're talking about. A lot of people are gonna listen to him that actually follow him that think what he's doing is good, yet they're absolutely crazy to even believe this person because he really doesn't know what he's talking about. He thinks that carnivals have a bad sense of smell, humans have a better sense of smell, and all these other crazy thoughts and ideologies as well. So that's it from me and this video. And yeah, man, look, fruit does look pretty. It can taste very good, but it is not designed for us to eat exclusively. As I found out years ago, many other people that deteriorated as well. So that's it from me and this video. If you like the video, like it down below, leave your question down below, and don't forget to share and subscribe to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. So as always, stay happy and enjoy the rest of your day. Day. Peace.